Good evening, everybody. My name is Joe, and I'm a weapon of mass instruction. And tonight it is Sunday, July, nope, June 24th, 2012. I just cashed, I guess it would be my second to last paycheck since they're offset by a one pay week or pay schedule, whatever. So I can get my bills paid for a little bit longer while I'm looking for jobs, which is cool. Something that was interesting though while I was uh, cashing that check. I'm standing there and first off, I, I highly recommend that you stay the hell away from Walmart when you're cashing checks unless you absolutely positively have to go there. Um, right now, I probably shouldn't have done that, but Walmart's a pretty shady place to go anyway pretty shady place to go. <clears throat> so I'm standing in line there and uh, not much of a line actually at that point. I was already up and cashing and there was a bunch of uh, hood boogers that came up. And I don't mean that term racially. Let me get that clear. A hood booger definition thereof is any individual regardless of race, color, creed, ethnicity, background, political belief, doesn't matter who you are, you're a hood booger to me if you act like you're from the inner city, but you're in the middle of freaking nowheresville, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're out in the country and you go to the, the local diner, like the only one in town and, you know, the waitress knows everybody by name, and three kids walk in looking like they want to be 50 cent. And one of them's black, one of them's white, one of them's Asian. Just throwing that out there, it doesn't matter. Those are hood boogers. <laughs> the ones that think that it's cool to dress like you're from the ghetto, even though people from the ghetto really just dress in whatever the hell they have. They don't, it's stupid. Anyway. So there I am getting all fucking paranoid and shit. Keeping my hand in my pocket just in case. You know, fucking Zimmerman, man. Saw an interesting uh, video that. Where the hell am I going? I know where I want to go. I found an interesting video the other day, my subscriptions box that uh, suggested that he was innocent, that he uh, actually did fire in self-defense and was legitimate, but uh, who the hell knows. What I do know is the moment another white person shoots a black person in self-defense, no matter how legitimate it happens to be, they're going to get screwed by the long arm of the law. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's gonna happen. You know what I mean? That kind of pissed me off. Always have a plan, no matter where you go, what you're doing. Like they always told me in the Marine Corps. Fucking act with courtesy and professionalism and always have a plan to kill everybody you meet. And, uh, <laughs> ain't that the truth? Fuck. Local cop. Well, I'm gonna leave this running just in case. <coughs> You know, there's so many countless different situations that you could get into and you never know how it's going to pop up, when, where, with who. God damn it.
you doing, man? Evening, officer. How may I help you? Good. I, it's your inspection. You have a PA plate, but you got jersey inspection. Yes. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to uh, update that. Uh, I actually just cast cash my paycheck. Okay. Um, and I want, in order to get inspected, I need to have the hood fixed so I can open up the engine. Yeah, you got some stuff. So going I can on. fix I the power steering. Well, this I don't think that's going to be a problem yeah. with them. I need to fix my power steering, and so I have to get into my hood. I'll nice tell you what I'll do. I mean, I'm not trying to jam you up. I mean, it's, it's only an inspection, okay? And I know you. I mean, I, no one has money right now. I understand. Yeah, that. Um, your license is good. Insurance is good. Yes. Okay. Can I see those? Absolutely. As long as everything checks out for you, I'll cut you a warning for the inspection. Okay. Thank Fair you. enough. I really appreciate All right. that. All right. Here's my license. Okay. Thank you. And um, yeah, that's your registration. Yes. It should be good. It says your sticker says it's valid. And there's and that's my your insurance. Okay, my man, sit tight, hang tight. Let me cut you out a warning. As long as everything checks out, and we'll get you out here, okay? Yes, sir. Like I was saying, no matter where you are or what you're doing, you could always get into a situation. It could be something as simple as you witness something crazy happen all the way down to you're getting pulled over by the cops. And I also know it's illegal in my state to ash and litter out the window, so I'm definitely not going to do that in front of the cops. Even though everybody and their grandma does it. And I only ever do it with cigarette butts because they're biodegradable. But, uh, it's a damn good thing I'm keeping the camera running just in case, you know? You never know. Maybe they're freaking racial profiling for a, you know, mid-twenties white dude, former Marine. <laughs> um, I remember a while back I was uh, looking at a video of these uh, sovereign citizen assholes. And uh, I, I try as hard as I can to be a law-abiding citizen. As much as I can possible, I do everything I'm supposed to by the book. But, uh... Those guys were just absolutely insane. If the shit ever hits the fan, I can feel fairly confident that the local cops will be on our side. Their job, just like everybody else, is to uphold the law. That's what it's supposed to be. The local cops, the sheriffs, I think they're the most on our side out of anybody. State troopers, well, I think for the most part, yeah, they're doing the right thing. At least in my area. If they ever get federalized, then, you know, we'll have to think twice about that. But, you know, you should never... Why, why argue with the cop? You know? Why put up a fight over stupid shit? I knew I was in the wrong, and it was obvious, and he pulled me over for it. And I'm getting lucky today. But, you know, there's people out there that just can't help themselves, I guess, but to pick a fight, and that's no good. You know, don't go out there carrying or doing whatever you're doing and following the law, looking to get into a fight or anything. Just be prepared if a fight happens to you. You know, which is why I'm always edgy when I when I walk into Walmart because a lot of shady characters in there. Not that I really trust anybody I meet, just for the sake of trusting them. But you can usually tell from looking at people what they're about. Usually. Anyway, I'm going to cut it short right there, I think. That's all I got for you tonight. Again, my name is John. I have a weapon of mass instruction. Y'all stay safe. Stay careful.